What is up, guys? It is Russ here, Poké Russ here, and we are back, back for another Deck Tech Tuesday. Deck Tech Tuesday is a series where I go over decks created either by me or by you guys. You guys can submit decks as well to be shown off on the channel, stuff like that. Give give out your ideas for a deck. Like, not everybody has the same ideas for a deck, and you might, you might help somebody come up with, or you might come up with some ideas for a deck that maybe somebody else submits in the comment section or something like that to make either make your deck better or help them make their deck better. So this is all like, this is a community style thing. So this is a deck submitted by Daz over on, he actually came over onto my Twitch. I was streaming some, uh... Monster Hunter! I was streaming some Monster Hunter over on Twitch and he popped in and he's like, hey, I've got this deck. I'm like, hey, send it to me now. So, so just a shameless plug there. I do stream on Twitch. I don't usually stream too much Dragon Ball uh, TCG, but I might sometime in the future if that's something you guys are interested in. Let me know in the comment section down below. But you can submit them. There's either a link in the description box where you can submit them, even in the comment section, or I'm slowly getting a Discord set up where you can submit them as well. But like I said, this was submitted by Daz over on Twitch, and uh, he sent me over a Sun Goku yellow deck. So this is a replacement for the Mecha Frieza since obviously May 1st is happening right around tomorrow-ish kind of thing. Ugh! And we won't have Mecha in the format anymore, at least as powerful as it was. So he sent me over this. He he wasn't a big fan of Mecha, but he kind of likes Goku and he really wanted to play out with the Goku and the Dredges and all that kind of stuff. So this is going to be a this is kind of going to be a variant of what that deck could turn into. So this is Sun Goku. So little Sun Goku um, once per turn, look at the top 10 cards of your deck, choose one Bulma among them, and add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck afterwards. This this effect is kind of cool, you, you're probably going to hit it once per game, you're probably not going to hit it more than once. You might if you have, uh, we don't actually have the promo Bulma, promo, not promo, promo Bulmas in this deck, but the, you, you'd go through the top 10 cards of your deck, you're probably going to hit one, like, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy to think of how accurate 10 cards can be, but... If you don't hit that, that's not the biggest thing. This deck has plenty of self awakening, so you're gonna when this card is when you're at four life or left, flip over two energy and switch this card to or switch them to active mode and then flip this card over. You have uncontrollable Ozaru Sun Goku. That's not what it says. Great Ape Sun Goku. Once per turn, choose a battle card, switch it back to uh, switch it to rest mode, and choose one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Then. Hold on. Choose one of your battle cards, switch it to rest mode. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, switch it to rest mode. Then choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode. There we go. And it cannot switch back to active during your opponent's charge phase. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, it's, it's basically a liar effect if you guys have ever played Kaijudo. Ah, the mat. Ah, ah, ah. You saw what I was doing there. I know you did. But... <laughs> Lyra had an effect of where it would tap down a creature and then it could untap during the start phase of their next turn as well. And then whenever this card attacks, draw a card. So, pretty cool leader. Pretty, It's yellow, so you can use a lot of the yellow things. Not all of them, because he doesn't have, like, um, Freeze's army. So you can't do all the crazy things with him, but let's go into how the deck kind of lays out. So, you do have... 4 Planet Vegeta. 4 Planet Vegeta is pretty standard <clears throat> in almost every yellow variant. Uh, field, it stays on field at the end of your turn, switch all great apes in your battle area to active mode, which we don't have any. We know we don't have any. So we don't have any, so that, that's not the important thing, but for one energy, you do get to add a Saiyan 4 cost or less from your deck to your hand and then shuffle. Pretty standard. At, it replaces itself instantly. It's a good turn one play. Uh, that pretty much allows you to search out almost any card in your deck. There's actually only four cards that we're about to go over that you can't search. So it's actually pretty insane. This is a solid turn one play. It's better than a draw card in the aspect of you know what you're searching for, you know what you're getting. That's why um, I know at least my group has kind of decided, like, if, if we have the option to grab a, like, especially in, like in, with the androids and all that kind of stuff floating around, um, it's better to search for a certain item on turn two, like, instead of using uh, the no opening, or not oh, no openings, bundle of curiosity Goku, we'd rather use, like, Android 20 to search out a 16 or something like that, because we know what we're getting, and it's kind of a better option at that point. Like, you could be digging for something more random, but most cases scenarios, you'd rather know what you're searching for. Uh, next we have 
This is the four useful Bulma we have. So 10 cards in deck after we've drawn our hand and life, assuming none of those are Bulmas, you're going to hit one of these every pretty much, well, the, definitely the first time. Well, not definitely, but statistics say you're going to hit one. Uh, you could up your chances of Bulma if you had the promo Bulma, but we didn't have any copies of that, so um, that's an option. When this card comes into play, you draw a card. Pretty standard for a Bulma card. Uh, she always adds stuff to hand. She's definitely a supporter, so that's another good turn one play as well. Uh, these turn one plays, they're good, um, but if you don't hit yellow on turn one, you're not in the worst case scenario because this is a yellow-green deck. Uh, you're actually probably looking to charge green for your first two charges anyway, so if you do, like, it's not, it's not bad if you don't get them. So you could be charged green, use her effect, add this Bulma to hand, and then be able to charge it on turn three for a draw or play it as an additional card. So that's that's not it's not a bad thing. Next we have Trunks. This is probably your most optimal turn one. Yeah, it's nice and shiny here. Uh, this is probably your most optimal turn one because again you get to you get to look top two for a Saiyan, which again everything but that Balma is pretty much Saiyan and the extra cards. Um, so you, you're, you're going to net off this, and it's green, because obviously, you know, not obviously, but we are playing the Veggie Engine. So, with the Veggie Engine, you do need that hard green um, mana, so you have four Kabas, four Kaf Kaliflas, and four Kales. Pretty standard for the Veggie Engine. Um, the deck really, like, with the tapping, with the tapping with this, and not them not being able to respond with certain cards, and then being able to blow up other cards that are threatening and all that kind of stuff. You just kind of really control the board with this deck, and um, it, it costs less because you don't have the ramp and stuff. You really take advantage of Kaba's ability to just kind of like make these cheaper because you don't have the mana gain you would with um, like Super Saiyan three. So. You definitely use Kaba a significant amount more. That's probably what your first target with Planet Vegeta is getting that Kaba. If if you're starting off with the unlucky early, you have to charge the yellow. You're probably playing Kaba turn three, kind of thing like that. But um, we're playing the Shigesh. Shigesh is your leader, or I'm sorry, wow, Shigesh is your leader. We we I want a Shigesh leader. That's probably my second leader. I want. I want an Apple leader first. I want an Apple leader first. Actually, I really want a Bardock leader. Who, I don't know, I don't know. I play a lot of Dokkan battles, so, like, I, I think of categories and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm, it's, it, I might be bad. But we played this. You can obviously play any of these Saiyans, I've said. Balm is the only card, so let's just put a stack right here of the Saiyans you can get with Shigesh. Pretty awesome. Also, you're playing the combo of Explosive, Spirit Goku, so this guy turns, uh, turns somebody to rest mode, this guy blows it up. Pretty crazy, pretty standard. Um, like, like I said before, you have a bunch of self-awakening, you have your four, uh, Kef Khalifla, and then you also have your No Opening Sun Goku. No op Opening Sun Goku is another, at the end, at the, at, little, little, at the end of the battle with this card was used, if your leader is yellow, uh, play this card in rest mode so you actually get to play it as opposed to the other deck I previewed this in. Then, uh, choose one of your life and add it to your hand. So th these are both ways for you to awaken. Uh, and get into this uncontrollable great ape state so you can start controlling the board. It's a very mid to late game control deck as opposed to uh, the way uh, Shigesh was played in the past. Shigesh was really played as like rush, tap stuff down, boom, get in there, go home. This is more of a control oriented style. So obviously when you play as barrier blocker, when you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode and KO it. So you're playing the long game, you're playing the, you're play, you're getting rid of their stuff that's threatening and all that kind of stuff. Another good thing with uh, this is you can play three copies of my favorite card in the game, probably. Nappa's, Nappa Vegeta's Attendant, look at that Nappa with hair. Look at that Nappa with the hair. Anyway, when it's card attacks, if your opponent has a battle card that's in rest mode against uh, plus 1000 power for the duration of the turn. Turn 3, 2500? Are you kidding me? That's BEA beautiful. That's TN stats before he gets any debuffs even from himself. Like, that's absolutely insane in the membrane. So you're always locking something down with this. Um, another card that actually isn't in this deck that I might suggest putting in the deck uh, is Crusher Ball. 
because it does it does hold hold your opponent off for a turn and it makes this guy more powerful because this guy probably most of the time this is this is probably gonna be your cheap control guy where you you'll drop one of your attackers and it'll drop Nappa so you'll drop Nappa run over their guy so you, you your guys can stay alive and then you use the other guy to like double break or something like that so this is this is really a get over your opponent's creature card and stuff like that again stack of sands stack of sands for Shigesh and trunks next we have three Terra Scythe Goku blacks um Terra Scythe Goku blacks create shadow tokens which one is just awesome because their shadow tokens more attackers more wins and two you can tap one of your tokens to blow up one of or to tap down one of their guys which is absolutely huge you summon this you get extra you get extra guys on field you tap tap them down it's it's super nice it's super nice it's, it's another cool thing so next on the list is super saiyan go tank super saiyan go tanks we have three of it in the deck um Fall off of go tanks, that really doesn't matter, but when you play this card, you choose up to two of your energy and switch them back to active mode, and then draw one card again, late game draw, untap, double break. This card's been good since set one. Uh, it's pretty standard again. It's actually one of the only cards that Shigesh can't get because it's, it's actually five cost, so that's a thing. But, I mean, it's it's a really good card, so, I mean. So, then the, last, the next card on the list is we have two Trunks Overseeing Time. Now there, there's a there's a toss up. Uh, he threw this card in the deck. My suggestion, actually, I have a different suggestion for this deck. Uh, it's over round four plus two. Um, double strike. When when you summon this, play this card using over round, choose one of your battle cards in your warp and add it to your hand. So the goal, the idea of this is to Shigesh. Grab back it. You remove Shigesh from the discard pile and re get you re allows you to play Shigesh. And do all that kind of stuff. Or if you have a Shigesh in hand and don't have a explosive Goku or something, it pulls back one of the cards. So another way you could do this is if you needed more green, because the green in the deck we have plenty of green. But if you decide you need a little bit more green, because these are black cards, they do get charged sometimes. Uh, you could play the set one Trunks that allows you to just pull a card back from discard pile. It's another option. This one's more consistent because I believe the other one. I believe off the top of my head, I think the other one has to be evolved. Which you do have the Evo pieces, but you just don't have too many. So it, it could be an option. I like them both. It, it's just more if you decide you need more green. And I believe the other one actually has revenge as well. So again, it's it's preference. It's what you need in the time. You might actually just sideboard the other trunks. And then the last but not least card is three flying Nimbus. Like I said, another extra card I could see counter, extra card I could see adding to this deck is that Crusher Ball. Um, but we have flying Nimbus negate the attack, then place one of your yellow... Place one yellow card in your hand to drop area. If you do, your opponent can only attack with one more battle card for the duration of this turn. So you uh, definitely make sure there are leaders attack. Basically, you, you you negate the attack of the leader, and they can only attack with one more battle card. Because if if you did to like a battle card and the leader could still strike, they still have two attacks left. So it's gonna be kind of it could be kind of useless. But that's kind of how you want to play with flying Nimbus. And stuff like that but this is a really cool deck I do like the I'm, I'm glad somebody finally uh, I hadn't got a chance to actually really mess around with the Sun Goku and it's, it's a really cool deck um, I definitely feel like it's a significantly more balanced than the Mecha Frieza and I'm glad it's getting to see played now that we have Mecha Frieza kind of limited and or not limited but errated so more more yellow cards can see play because uh, yellow it does have a lot of negate and the negate is so strong in, in a game like this so uh, the yellow is gonna see. I think yellow is still gonna see a, a place in the top of the tier list. Not maybe, not maybe at the top, but the, closer to the top of the tier list um, with Ginyu and Son Goku and all those kind of things. But like I said, you guys, you can submit, um, you can submit a deck list down below, either in the comment section down below. There's an email address, and soon the Discord will be up, so you'll be able to submit it over on the Discord as well. Uh, send me your deck list, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Okay, Russ out. Peace.